The film industry is the number one industry that attracts tourism dollars, and that's what York County understands. Studio South President Bert Hess says he's teaming up with the Catawba Indian Nation for a $350 million state-of-the-art studio complex. It will be built on 120 acres between Dave Lau Boulevard and Sturgis Road. Anything that's going to be beneficial and profitable for the nation, I'm going to say that's going to be a good economic development project. Hess tried working with Charlotte City leaders to buy the old Eastland Mall site, but that fell through. We have lifted our master plan from what was called Studio Charlotte to Catawba Studios. There will be three districts. First is sound stages. Second is the educational component, where universities in South Carolina will be on the lot for film schools and then retail and restaurants. While the project is still in the works, Catawba Nation purchased a production company, Red Heritage. They're renting space here in Fort Mill, already working on several projects. Then all this equipment, plus much more, will be part of Catawba Studios. Red Heritage President Chris Chris Cates says being lured from Charlotte wasn't hard. Our state legislature helped a little bit on that when they uh, put a knife in the, uh, the film incentives. Kate says with South Carolina incentives and the Catawba tribe resources, it's a perfect fit. Our potential is, is immense uh, in terms of the, the volume of work that we can do. Has says this plan is different than in Charlotte and a much better fit. We weren't looking to just buy 84 acres. We were looking for a partner to help us develop an industry in a state. And that's what we have been able to find in South Carolina, a partner in the Catawba Indian Nation 